Welcome to Inside News Proper. It was a celebration of impactful 65 years anniversary as family members, associates, friends and well wishers gathered to felicitate with the chairman, board of directors, any good distribution company, Saimeka Ofo. The birthday anniversary celebration took place at Ijele FM Orifite, Ekusigo local government area. Gozabulary of Insider News now completes the story. On the 10th of February 1957, to family of Mr. and Mrs. Bennett Ofo in Kafanchan, Kaduna State, Semeka is a Nigerian oil magnate and an entrepreneur from Orifite in Ekusigo local government area of Anambra State. He started his primary school education at the Ezuku Elementary School and St. Michael's Primary School in Enugu, Nigeria. From there, he proceeded to the Merchant of Light School, Oba, and then transferred to Abbott Boys High School, Ihiala, Anambra State. On May 10, 2019, Semeka got an honorary doctorate in entrepreneurship from Nandazikiwe University. Semeka started working with Rivways Lines Nigeria Limited, an importer of bitumen goods. He became a transport clerk for this company that operates in Delta. He later took the bold step to start his business. Semeka also started delivering bitumen to large corporations like Julius Beja Nigeria Limited, Gufanti Nigeria Limited, Fogerol Nigeria Limited, and others in just two years. It is well known in countries like Nigeria, Switzerland, the U.S., and the U.K., while domestic and international partners include China Petroleum and Chemical Corporation, Eniko Investment Services Nigeria Limited, Cameroon, Kaduna Consult, Brazil, Divicon, USA, Yokogawa, Europe, Liayang Steel to Co. Limited, Nimek Investment Limited, Inland Containers Nigeria Limited, Blaze 91.5 FM, Kiss 99.9 FM, Ijale FM, Takrest Nigeria, Kingsbury Trading Limited, Global Scan Systems Limited, Interstate Electrics Limited, just to mention but a few of the Chrome groups, many subsidiary companies, among numerous others. As a result of the privatization of the power sector, which birthed Enugu Electricity Distribution Company, EEDC, Semekofo was appointed as chairman of EEDC. His philanthropic activities started right from Chrome Group of Companies when he founded Semekofo Trust Fund Organization. In 2006, it was registered under the Companies and Allied Matters Act to help individuals become self-sufficient and independent. Human capacity development, skill acquisition, small and medium sized company formation and cooperative societies are all priorities of the foundation. CEO's domestic programs and initiatives have impacted the lives of many Nigerians, including a widow's cooperative program, youth empowerment program, health program, education program, infrastructure development program. They have also collaborated with organizations like Books for Africa and Rotary International in an effort to reach more people. Awards and recognition, the Nigeria Union of Journalists, NUJ Anambra State Council, awarded the Philanthropist of the Year Award to him in 2012. 2012 Babando Foundation for Physically Challenged Persons Humanity Award was given to Sir Emekofo. He was awarded the Dr. Alex Ekweme Award of Excellence for his remarkable commitment to education in Nigeria and Africa through CEO 2012. The Nigeria Library Association and the Rotary International awarded him the Eminent Service Award 2013 for his efforts to eradicate polio and book contribution. And so, there was no need to reserve resources in celebration of 65 years of eventful and impactful life of this man who has seen it all and done so much for humanity. This was why Ijele FM Orifite was filled with family members, associates, friends and well-wishers who gathered to felicitate with this enigma. The 65 years birthday celebration was a beehive of activities with the quantum of love the celebrant that he showered on widows in the 179 communities of Anambra State. Who would have believed that an individual donated 40,000 bags of 25 kilograms bags of rice to widows in all the 179 communities in Anambra State? It happened live and direct, made possible by Sa'i. The widows were represented by the president's general of their communities so that it would be easier for them, given the hike in transport fare and all. <laughs> You got to go. 
So I can a chineke ni see. Na yo chukwu koni ike ni ogono gondo. You know na me kwa kona abuba because the more God gives to him, the more he gives, he remembers these uh, vulnerables. So I na eke ni na so no di ori emma and no ga na adere amma na ga na ha Jesus. Amen. He is from na Ozuli Igbo. 179 communities and whatever I say about it, or there is a data. Bobo City to Nanambra State. Every like 334 bags of rice. Makande Oba. The different honors and different sneakers. Oh, we do Makai Jake in the Makeup for Sai Makeup for Foundation. I now see that you got Gozzi, Magic Rumaji. Now, if only a Mako Silo to Mobaya. Hey, Lota. Obodoni dead on an ambrasted. I seem to a name here. The by the Warokora, Kade Wangle, I not snatch Kuya Gozier, not to see Chetaha. So I wonder why I say Wangle, Nayo, Kandio Zodo Kayawa, Kavasquan to a name. As if that was not enough, free textbooks were also distributed to over 200 tertiary institutions and they were received by the acting vice chancellor, Chukwe Meko Domingo Juku University, Professor Kate Omenua. For today, for living his life to the full, and for continuously improving education, our promise is that we are going to make judicious use of these books to appreciate his changed contributions to promotion of quality education in the country primary and secondary school children entertained the guests with much past <laughs> Many dignitaries graced the occasion, and one after the other, they spoke about the man Sir Emeko for fondly called Sai. E. Governor Chukuma Soludo took the lead. We want to use this opportunity, Sir e, to come to say to you, on behalf of myself, my family, the government, and great people of Anambra State, to say a million happy birthdays to you. Happy birthday, Sae. Also, especially at this critical point in time, that an individual will set out to donate 40,000 bags of rice to all the communities in Anambra. It is unprecedented. And Sae, I want on behalf of the people of Anambra to commend you and to thank you deeply on behalf of the people. And we invite all other well-meaning citizens of Anambra. This is the time to share. This is the time to celebrate our common humanity. Whatever you can do. The celebrant, as we already know, is a philanthropist. And his own is diversified. He's not particularized to a particular section. We are very grateful and really happy to associate with him. The celebrant is one of the biggest give us, supported Rotary, supported the eradication of polio, maladies, and all the associated illnesses, more than any other person in Africa. And for that alone, we are here. Through generosity, not false philanthropy. So we are here because of what we know he stands for. So 65 years is something worth celebrating. Many, many more years, 100 and something years, in good health, happiness, and prosperity. That's my goodwill message. So, my bosom friend, a good man with a large heart. Even my tata, even my as governor said, and you can see by yourself that the people are jubilating and everybody is happy. We are not yaka. We are not mezi bo me. We are not yaka no wa. Eh, don azu, don enya, kan don anye lindo ti elnalo baja donana. So we are begi me no wa. The madu we no ye ye me we me no ebi me no wa ka e chete ki I will call him a humanitarian, a philanthropist by excellence and someone who has the interest of the vulnerable, the downtrodden, 
and you know the weakest point of the society at heart always but the most important thing is that you need to have the heart to give you don't really necessarily need to be rich or stupendously rich for you to cultivate the habit or culture of giving out so it just means that you need to have the heart no matter how small there is someone somewhere that can benefit from your large heart and so what we are here to do is to congratulate him 65 years is not 65 days neither is it 65 weeks or 65 months and that is 65 years of God's immense grace, blessings and favor. And that's why we are here to celebrate with him. The life of Sir Mecca of all is all about giving, you know. He derived joy in giving to the less privileged. He derived joy in seeing people smile. Sir Mecca of all, through his foundation, has touched lives. A lot can be said of him and uh, he's somebody that uh, is worth emulating. To Sa'i, it feels so good to be celebrated in such manner. I am by your show of love, friendship, and partnership as I mark 65 years of God's grace, mercies, blessings, and benevolence. I have listened to your kind, encouraging words. I have seen my friends with whom I walk down the train. I have felt the warmth of family around me and in gratitude, I say, God be the glory. I want to appreciate my lovely wife, Adora, for the great job she has done with the Total Alive housing project for widows in our region. Behind every successful man is the woman. Let us meet Mrs. Adora Ofo, wife of Sa'i. The elasticity of his generosity is unimaginable, and his penchant for detail in matters that concern the weak, the vulnerable and indigent may just be one of the reasons we choose to celebrate him this way. These humanitarian interventions happening on my husband's birthday marks the significant milestones in his quest to always assist, offer help, give, mentor and bless others. The guests were also entertained with a music performance. Like the Baibuku Deborah, prayers of the widows you build houses for, those you put food on their tables, those you pay their school fees, those you set up businesses for, and those you have touched positively, will always protect you from all evils. I am sure that they wished you live like Methuselah. Insider News is joining League of Well-Wishers in saying congratulations and happy birthday. From Ijele FM or Rifite in Ekusigo local government area, I am Ngozi Obineri for ABS Insider News.